Uttarakhand has been ravaged by a disaster again. A series of cloud bursts left Uttarakashi devastated. Lives were lost, dear ones went missing, homes were shattered, flash floods and landslides followed. The water swept through Dharali village. The sudden deluge swept away buildings, damaged roads, forced evacuations. The nation watched in horror as nature's fury wreaked havoc in the picturesque tourist town. But this is not the worst, not the first time. Cloudburst is an extreme weather event of intense localized rainfall that exceeds 100 mm within an hour. Sudden downpour with a concentrated impact and difficult to predict makes cloudbursts so catastrophic. The reason behind frequent cloudbursts in Uttarkashi are threefolds. Topography Uttarkashi is situated within the Garhwal Himalayas. Unstable rocks and rivers fed by glaciers are all over the mountain ranges. Uttarakhand has 118 high altitude lakes, out of which 32 are in Uttarkashi. This topography makes Dharali, Harshal, Gangotri more prone to flash floods and landslides. Heavy rainfall has been continuously recorded in the central Himalayan region in the past few years. The steep slopes of the Himalayas force warm air with moisture to rise quickly creating ideal situations for intense cloud formation. This is further intensified with southwest monsoon winds from the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. Those bring heavy moisture to the region. And in the narrow valleys, there's often no way to disperse this water. The result? Flash floods and disaster. According to studies by Uttarakhand State Disaster Management Authority, apart from Uttarkashi, Chamoli, Rudraprayag, Bageshwar, Pittoragar in Uttarakhand are also highly vulnerable to cloud bursts. Why? Because they fall in the high seismic main central thrust and have experienced several earthquake tremors in the recent years. That makes an already volatile situation worse. Climate change. It is no secret that the glaciers in the state are melting faster than ever and that is changing river flows and increasing risks of glacial lake outbursts flood, making landslides more frequent. So far, Uttarakhand has recorded extreme weather on 65% of monsoon days, up from 33% in 2022. According to Down to Earth and Center for Science and Environment Data Analysis, out of 66 days, 22 days in 2022 were extreme weather days. The number went up to 31 in 2023, 39 in 2024, and 43 in 2025. The government initially claimed that the Uttarkashi disaster was the result of a cloud burst, but IMD clarified that the event did not meet any technical definition. The disaster in Dharali was caused by sustained heavy rainfall over several hours. What has happened is that the, there is a continuous rain which is happening in all the places surrounding regions. That is the reason that you can see that people were there, they were telling that there is a rain, but it is not a rain which is, uh, which is expected in a cloud burst. It reflects the growing troubles for the Himalayan region. In 2024, Uttarakhand experienced its warmest monsoon since 1901. It used to be a natural phenomena a couple of uh, years before, but now because of rising temperature and the global warming, uh, it has become much more common and that's where the problem also lies. But can it all be blamed on climate change and the topography of Uttarkashi? Not everything is nature's fault. Many experts believe it is a man-made disaster catalyzed by excessive tourism and poor management. The reason when you will ask about it is a simple reason that it is uh, the drainage, it is a pipe where the water gets dispersed, they all are getting blocked when continuously such thing is happening because of the sludge or because of the plastic thalies or because of the tourist spot uh, where a lot of people do not follow the normal norms uh, and, and that is one of the reasons that it is happening which is a man-made disaster. Unregulated construction of roads, bridges, hotels, homes is rampant across Uttarakhand and it is hurting the very natural buffers that once protected the region from such disasters. 
unplanned construction over rivers and streams has only increased the damage experts believe. Forest cover is reducing. Land use change has eroded soil stability and reduced the landscape's ability to absorb water. Downburst is a problem of the downburst. लेकिन जिस तरह से यहाँ पर निर्माण हो रहा है, जिस तरह से यहाँ पर सड़कें बन रही हैं और टूरिज्म के नाम पर जिस तरह से होटल बनते जा रहे हैं और असुरक्षित क्षेत्र में भी जहाँ पर नहीं बनने चाहिए वहाँ पर होटल बन रहे हैं, बड़ी-बड़ी बिल्डिंग बन रही हैं और जिस तरह से प्लेन्स में मल्टीस्टोरी तो ये सब कारण जो हैं वो क्लाउडबर्स को तो नहीं रोकेंगे लेकिन क्लाउडबर्स के बाद जो नुकसान होता है उस नुकसान में बहुत ज़्यादा बढ़ोतरी करते हैं। We know that irresponsible human activities weaken the foundation of hilly slopes and make them highly disaster prone, and yet we don't stop. So every time Uttarakhand is ravaged by a disaster, lives are lost, dear ones go missing, homes are shattered, the blame game goes on.